Welcome to Syllable Spell Success. These lessons are provided by 40L as part of our mission to transform lives by improving educational foundations. The average class improves 1.7 reading grade levels while also improving their reading speed and accuracy. Learning to read with phonics is better for your brain. Recent brain research showed that the brains of good readers sounded out words by sound, not sight, just very fast in parallel. The syllables and nonsense words in this program are specifically designed to help retrain your brain. This lesson, we're going to start retraining our brain with the short vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. When vowels are followed by a consonant, they have their short sound. All the words in this lesson are followed by a consonant, so they have their short sound. The first vowel we'll look at is A. Its short sound is A. Say A. Now, we're going to sound out some syllables. The first few syllables are also words. A syllable has one vowel. To help retrain our brain, we're going to concentrate on sounding out every sound, one sound at a time, from left to right. At, 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 m, am, at, m, an, ax, ax. We're going to move fast in this series. You can use these charts to help if you forget some of the sounds while you're learning to retrain your brain. There are color and black and white versions available. They are arranged in sound order, not alphabetical order. These next syllables are not words. They are parts of words, however. Ab, ab. Ab is a part of the word abstract. Syllables make up words. By learning how to break up words into syllables and learning how to sound out syllables, we'll learn how to easily sound out some really long words. Now, a few more syllables. Ap, ap. Ack, ack. Most short one syllable words ending with the k sound are spelled with a ck. This next syllable has a slightly changed sound of short a. That's another reason for learning syllables. Syllable sounds are the true unbroken sounds that build words, the true atoms of word building. The letter sounds we've been learning are just approximations. They change slightly when put together to make syllables, but syllable sounds do not change when put together to make words. Egg, egg. Notice how this has a slightly different sound than the short a sound in the words at or an. Now, some three letter words. They end in a consonant, so they'll have the short sound. And we're doing short a, so it'll have a short a a sound. N, ap, nap, s, am, sam. Okay, it's time to spell some words. You spell with letter names and read with letter sounds. First, we'll try one we just wrote. Wait until I say go to spell the word. We'll say the letters all together out loud. The first word is nap. If you're tired, take a nap. N A P nap. Now, one we haven't seen yet, but you can figure it out. Spell axe. He cut the tree with an axe. A X spells axe. Our next vowel is I. I says I when it is short and followed by a consonant. All of these have the short I, I sound because they're followed by a consonant. First, some syllables. It, it, if, 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 in, in, I, d, id. You try these. Ick, is, im, ix, il. Most single syllable words ending with a cuss sound are spelled with a CK. L changes the sound of a vowel slightly. Most single syllable words ending with an S, F, or L have doubled letters. B, ib, bib, h, il, hill. Now you try. In, vim. Vim means energy. It's often used in the phrase vim and vigor. Now, we're going to work in small groups. Get out blend phonics. We're going to wear, work on the mixed short sounds of A and I. Keep your blend phonics open and ready to go throughout this lesson. One minute. Short O says ah. Try these. On, off. Now these. Ox, top. Short U says ah. Hug, rub. Try the next ones. Up. Un. Short E says eh. Try these. Ek, S, Egg, L. G and L change the sound of the vowel. 
I'll do this a bit for every vowel, G mainly in egg and egg. Now we're going to review all the short vowel sounds. A, E, I, A, A. Now we'll review the vowel sounds in some syllables. Ab, eb, ib, ob, ub. An, en, in, on, un. Now spelling. Remember, F, L, N, S, double, and the cuss sound at the end of short words is usually spelled C, K. Listen and think about which of these words will double the final consonant and how to spell the final cuss sound. Spell pet, the animal, and sell, like sell for money. Spell mess, don't make one, and duck, a type of bird. Next, a syllable division rule. Divide between two consonants. If you have trouble figuring out where to divide the word, mark the vowels with an X. Then, the two consonants in the middle will stand out better. Draw a line between them. Now that they're divided, it's easy to sound out each syllable and then put them together to make a word. B, ed, bed, r, ock, rock, bedrock. Now this one. Again, to help, we can mark the vowels with an X and then divide between the two middle consonants. Then, with the word divided, it's easy to sound out each part and then put together each syllable to make the word. We divide between the P and K and make N, ap, nap, K, in, kin, napkin. You've got it. You get to try some now. Get out your sheet and divide each word on your own. When everyone's done, we'll start taking turns reading the word. Keep your syllable division exercises open and ready to go after this exercise. Ack, ek, ik, ok, uk. One syllable words ending in a cuss sound, usually spelled with a CK. These consonant groups are called blends. They keep their sounds, they just blend together. And, end, end, on, und. Amp, amp, imp, omp, ump. Desk, felt, fawn, next. Note how the L changes the sound of the vowel. Now, We'll try blend phonics for a bit. See you in two minutes. Now, letter teams. The first is SH. When S and H are together, they say SH. Let's try some SH SH syllables now. Ash, esh, ish, osh, ush. When T and H are together, they can make two different sounds, but they're very similar. The first voice sound is the sound it makes in than, the. The second sound, unvoiced, is the sound it makes in thick, th. Your mouth is in the same position for vo both. For the voiced sound, the voice is used. The unvoiced sound, only the breath is used, not the voiced. C and H together say ch. At the end of a word, the ch sound is usually spelled tch. The T is silent. We'll try some ch ch syllables now. Atch, etch, itch, och, hutch. Your turn to work from blend phonics. Do one word from unit H each, or there won't be enough words of each type to go around. See you back in two minutes. In words that start with W, the letter A normally sounds like ah, as in ma or pa, instead of the long vowel sound that would be expected. We'll go over these words in small groups. What do you say when you can't think of what to say? Right, ah. Uh, your mouth is relaxed when you say ah. Uh. It's the easiest sound to make. Some common short words and unaccented syllables in long words will mush to the sound of a. Uh. The dictionary calls this a schwa and shows it with an upside down letter e. The words what and was have vowels that are mushed to the sound of a. Uh. The letters a and o often schwa or mush to the sound of a. Uh. The word was is tricky. It also has an s with a z sound. S and z are very close sounds. They are voiced and unvoiced consonant pairs. In these W and WH words we're going to look at, W is voiced and WH is unvoiced, although many people pronounce W and WH the same, pronouncing them both voiced. The N in NG and NK has a funny sound, a bit nasally. It sounds like N. Mm. It slightly changes the sound of the vowel before it. We'll try some syllables now to see how this works. Ang, ang, ing, ung, ung. Ank, ink, ink, unk, unk. Also, NG and NK will stay together when dividing words. They do not separate. These consonants are called blends. They keep their sounds, they just blend together. 
We'll sound out some words with consonant blends at the beginning. Sound out every sound from left to right. Smash, slip, strap, shrek, frog, plop. Your turn. They're a bit tongue twistery, but you can do it. See you back in two minutes. You also divide between blends. This means that consonants that blend will stay together and you will divide between the blended letters and the other letter. Again, marking the vowels with an X may help you see where the consonants in the middle are. In this first word, lipstick, the letters S and T blend together and you divide between the P and the blend ST. In the next word, landfill, N and D blend together and you divide between the D and the F. The D is part of the blend ND. Now, we'll do syllable division exercise two. Divide each word on your own. Words will divide between blends, like the blends in the words we just read, and the single letter. When everyone's divided a few, we'll start taking turns reading the word, with each student taking turns. Time for games or a short break. Thanks for watching. Remember to do the exercises linked in the video description to get the full benefit, and also read the words. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to watch the rest of the lessons. You'll be amazed at how much you learn by the end.